Ghana's banking sector took a hit from the IMF-induced domestic exchange program. Most banks reported significant losses on the back of the mark-to-market valuation losses on their respective holdings in government of Ghana bonds. Other losses were due to higher impairment on loans. The industry posted before tax losses of $8 billion in 2022 compared with a profit of $7.4 billion recorded in 2021. After tax losses was at $6.6 billion in 2022 relative to a profit after tax of $4.8 billion in 2021. The main profitability indicators, return on assets and return turn on equity all turned negative in 2022 because of the industry's loss position. The debt exchange program is behind. The IMF has approved the much-needed $3 billion fund to reboot the economy. In the first four months of this year, the banking sector made some marginal gains. These developments culminated in a 47% increase in profit before tax in April 2023 compared with 26.3% recorded during the same period a year ago. Despite these, the central bank says banks would have to, in the next three years, recapitalize and improve their reserve positions. The banks still need to build their buffets, their capital buffets, right? So this is really where the emphasis should be. And I said that even though they have started recording profits these profits cannot be you know whittled away through distribution to shareholders and all of that but they have to be conserved so that they would be able to build you know their capital buffers mr otu echampong is the banking consultant the capital structure that um basel three has given to the banks is you have your normal minimum capital then because of economic activity, you have to have a buffer. And it's a buffer that when uh, DDP came in, the, the regulator relaxed it and said, stay with your minimum capital. But if you want to engage in economic activity, then restore the buffer. And they'll be given up to three years to restore that buffer. According to the central bank, banks who have difficulties recapitalizing would have to fall on the financial sector stabilization fund for support. Maurice Ogbete, GBC News, Accra.